welcome back to the House of Hughes. I am so excited for today's video. Hi, hi, and apparently so is little Miss Blakely. Do you wanna say hi? Say hi. Chloe? Is that Chloe? Yeah, there's <laughs> Chloe. Hello. Oh, hello. We've got the whole fam fam except for Beckham and Daddy, huh? Juice. All the girls. Oh, Chloe can't drink the juice, but thank you for sharing. You're so nice. Mwah. <laughs> Yeah, I love you. You got your baby? Was that your baby? Oh, good job, honey. I love your baby. Oh, are you gonna give your baby some juice? That is so nice, sissy. You are such a good mom. You're so maternal. Good job, you're so good at sharing. Are you gonna miss mommy while she's gone? Yeah, are you gonna miss mommy so much? What? Wash up? Wash your hands? Does she need to wash her hands, the baby? I swear I tell you guys this in like every single video, but Blakely has been so good. All of her phrases, all of her words, she's been talking up a storm. As you guys just heard, she's so good at saying just like little phrases now, like wash your hands instead of just saying like hands, hands. She's really, really good at expressing herself. Wash your hands, wash your hands. Good job. Oh, that's so good. You giving the baby a drink? You're such a nice girl. Oh, you're blanky? Yeah, you want your blankie? Oh, you're tucking your baby in. Good job, sis. Oh, she's so warm. Good job. Oh, are you getting all tucked in with your baby? That's a great job, sissy. Oh yeah, we gotta put her under the blankie. Good job. Oh, you're so cozy. Good job, sis. Oh, there goes your juice. Good thing we have a spill-proof cup, huh? Oh, your baby's so warm. Good job, sissy. Boo. Are you gonna miss mommy when she's gone? Say absolutely, I'm gonna miss mommy so much. Oh, oh go? What? You better have been talking to Chloe, girl. Are you singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to your baby? Oh. The fact that Blakely was literally just singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to her baby. Yeah, she goes, my baby, my baby. Oh, and then we've got our little other baby over here, huh, Closter? You're gonna miss mommy while she's gone. As I was saying, right when I opened up this vlog, I am so excited because Hunter and I are leaving for our cruise tomorrow. So today's gonna be a full day of packing, prepping, all of that fun stuff and soaking up this last day that I have with my babies before we leave. I'm really sad to be leaving them, but I'm very, very excited to be going on a trip with Hunter. I haven't really told you guys the details of this trip, so I'm definitely going to be doing that today. I'm also going to be chatting with you about dieting before vacation. And we're gonna have lots of baby time just because I'm really gonna miss them. And I am gonna do at least one vlog while we're on vacation, but there won't be a ton of content without the kids. Just a little bit, mostly for my memories, but I also think it'd be really fun to take you guys along with us. Hi! Come here, sis. Come say hi. Do you want to say hi to your friends? <gasps> Good job! Say hi! A shark? A shark? Every time she sees any sort of device, a TV, a phone, a tablet, she says shark because she wants us to play baby shark. Did, daddy? Daddy, yep, yeah, Daddy texted us. Should we see what Daddy said? Daddy? 
Daddy, he's obsessed with you. He's so obsessed with you. For starters, I want to tell you guys where we're going on our cruise because I don't think I've even shared those details with you yet. Hunter and I personally love cruising. We think it's so fun and we always like to go out of the port of Miami or one of the ports on the East Coast because we love Royal Caribbean and we think that their ships are amazing. We are going on Symphony of the Seas. Again, it's a Royal Caribbean cruise and we are going to four different different destinations. The first destination we're going to is Puerto Rico. I've never been, so I'm really excited. And then we are going to St. Martin and St. Thomas, which are two of the US Virgin Islands. And I am so excited. I hear they're absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to explore the island because I feel like those are a couple places that Hunter and I might want to go back to as like a destination for a vacation. So I'm really excited to explore those two islands. And then we are also going to Coco Cay, which is like a little island Island in the Bahamas that Royal Caribbean owns and we have been there before on a previous cruise so I'm really excited I feel like we're going to really fun destinations and we are going with some of our very best friends we're going with Kate and Chandler you guys know them that's Hunter's brother and his wife so that will be really fun and then we are going with another couple Colton and Amber you guys will see them in some of our vlogs and they are also super close with Chandler and Kate and that's how we met them and Colton is actually also Hunter and Chandler's cousin so we're all kind of family which is super super fun and we're going to have such a blast we cannot wait so we leave tomorrow we are flying to Florida then we're just gonna stay one night in a hotel we always do that we never risk it and try and fly in the same day that we have to board the cruise ship just because if anything happened with our flights and we missed a flight or it was delayed or something happened with travel, we wanna make sure we have a full day of buffer so that we don't miss the cruise. So today's the last day that we have with the babies and with babysitting, we have grandma and grandpa babysitting for us. Hunter's mom is doing half of the week and then my mom is doing half of the week. So the kids are gonna be in the best hands ever. We are so fortunate that our grandparents are close and obsessed with our kids. Yeah, is that Papa? We just feel so lucky that we know that our kids are safe, happy, comfortable in their own environment. I also feel like with Blakely right now, she's obviously going to know that I'm gone and obviously Beckham will too, but I don't think they have like a great sense of time. So I feel like when we get home, they'll just be like, oh my goodness, mommy and daddy are home. But she won't know the difference between like me going to the gym in the morning and me being on a week long vacation. Now I could be wrong. So at what age do you guys think our kids start to recognize like lengths of time? If you get what I'm saying. I don't know. So I'm really kind of curious what your thoughts are, but I've addressed in previous videos why we're not taking the kids. It's because Hunter and I really try to do one vacation a year where it's just adults only and we get away, we prioritize our marriage, prioritize our relationship. Our kids are also really, really little, so they'll do plenty of traveling in due time, but now is not that time. So I'm really excited. I do a little vacation prep. I basically just self tan and like get my eyelashes filled so that I feel confident when I am wearing very minimal makeup and like getting wet and all of that good stuff. I will say for this trip, I'm trying something for the first time though. So I tanned last night. I'm gonna try tanning again tonight. So I I have like a double coat of self tanner on. It's not going to make the color any darker, I believe, but I'm just hoping it will make it last longer. So we'll see if that's a disaster and if it applies really badly tonight, but I'm hoping it doesn't. If it applies badly, then I'll just jump in the shower and wash it off so I don't feel like it's very risky. I'm also getting my eyelashes filled tonight, so that will be fun. I'll feel nice and fresh and have full lashes. I did all of my laundry yesterday because I knew I wanted to film and pack today. So I'm going to be packing. I like to pack the day before and then pack all of like my toiletries in the morning just because I know that I'm gonna be using things tomorrow that I have to actually take with me. Hi, girlfriend. And so I'm going to pack as much as I can today and then kind of finish packing tomorrow. Something that I love about this trip is that our flight is not early in the morning. I feel like our flights are always early in the morning, which is just the worst. And I also won't fly red eye just because I always get sick when I fly red eyes and it like ruins the whole trip for me. So we are flying out at like 5 p.m., which is gonna be so nice so we can spend a little bit of time with the kids before their nap tomorrow. <laughs> Holy cow, girlfriend, what are you doing? Like he's grabbing my leg. What are you doing? And so, like I said, we'll spend some time with the kids before their nap. Hunter and I will still be able to go to the gym and kind of have our normal routine and we're not gonna be rushed. We're gonna head to the airport at like 2.30ish. So that will be so fun. I'm just so stoked, so excited. Oh my goodness, you're crazy girl. Wow. Again, again. She goes, again, again. Oh. 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 Kisses. 
again, again, before I want a kiss. <gasps> I steal one. Oh, you want snacks? Okay, you're such a smarty. She knows I've got fruit snacks up here. Oh boy. Oh boy. When she says oh boy, she's saying open. It's so cute. I love her little language. Oh boy. Oh boy, open. <laughs> say open. Can you say open? I'm sorry. I don't have to be sorry. She says I'm sorry all the time and it's so cute. But I'm like, you don't have to say sorry. Here, let me open it, baby. Gosh, she's so cute. I'm gonna miss her so much. I already know that we're gonna be buying internet on the ship so we can FaceTime like crazy. It's gonna be so much fun. I feel so comforted knowing the kids are with their grandparents and we're just gonna have the best time. So we planned one excursion in Puerto Rico and we're doing like a little mojito and like cooking class after we go on a walk through the city. And so I'm really excited for that. We're gonna be there at night. And then we don't have excursions in St. Martin and St. Thomas. In St. Thomas, we definitely want to explore the island. So I don't think we'll plan a specific excursion for that day, but we will rent like scooters or something. And St. Martin is kind of up in the air. We'll just kind of see when we get there what we want to do. And the ship we're going on, I think is currently the biggest ship in the world. So we are so freaking stoked. I know they're building a bigger one but I think it's only bigger by like two feet. But my point is that it's a huge ship. There's gonna be so much to do. I will definitely be vlogging a little bit for you. So if you haven't yet, be sure to hit the red subscribe button so you can see some of our vacation vlogs. I'm really excited to take you guys with us. <gasps> a kiss? A kiss? Okay, you guys have to watch this. It's so cute. A kiss? A kiss? Ah! Okay, bye bye, bye bye. Kiss? Ah! You guys, this is embarrassing, but my body literally like aches from all the cleaning that I did yesterday because I wanted to make sure the house was like super clean, all of our sheets were clean, our bathrooms were clean, all of that good stuff for our parents when they come and watch the kids. Hunter also went grocery shopping and like stocked the house with all of the kids' regular food. And then I also did like a hundred loads of laundry so that Hunter and I would have all of our clothes clean so that we could pack easily. But speaking of packing, I did order a few dresses and a few things off of Amazon. I'm not gonna try them on for you, but I wanna show you a few of the things that I decided to keep because they were, <laughs> hi sis, because they were so cheap. And I feel like Amazon is just my go-to for easy returns and vacations because I don't wanna spend, oh, that's mommy's here, come here. I don't wanna spend like a ton of money on articles of clothing that I only really wear on vacation. So I feel like I found some steals. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Who is that? Who is that? Is that the most beautiful girl in the world? It is, baby. It's you. You're so pretty. You're so smart. And you're so funny. And you're so cool. Oh, I love you. Can I have a kiss? She'll ask us for kisses left and right. Jacket. Good job. Is that mommy's jacket? Good job. Blakely loves mirrors, it's the cutest thing ever. Yeah, should we show them some of the clothes that mommy got? As I was saying, I like to find things on Amazon because even though they're a little bit cheaper quality, I'm only wearing them like a couple times Jacket. a year. Jacket, good job. But they're easier to if I don't like them Hi. and they're super cheap. Coca melon in the bathroom, but that's what we need to do to keep this little girl safe. Okay, so here's a few of the dresses that I got. I wanted to get some things just for like dinners, so I got this really cute. It's like an off white slash like very pale yellow peachy color, and this is the only one I haven't tried on yet, so I hope it fits. But it looks like it will. It just has a little zipper in the back and it's gonna be like a form-fitting kind of bodycon type dress. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw me wear this dress on Halloween and I'm obsessed with it. It's literally just like a little black dress with adjustable straps, but the material is so comfortable 
that it literally feels like pajamas. So I'm obsessed. This is so comfy. I also like that it's more of like a flowy material. So I'm going to be able to wear that regardless of how I feel. And I love outfits like that. I also got this adorable black dress. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has a little tie here up by the chest and then it actually has an open cutout here in the middle for like your upper abdominals. And it's like a high-waisted cut at the bottom. So it kind of looks like it's like two separate pieces, like a high-waisted skirt and a bralette. But it's actually one piece, it's a dress. This again is also super, super comfortable. And I'm pretty short, so all of these dresses were like decently short on me, but they're adjustable because as you guys can see a lot of them have this like ruching on the side so you can kind of adjust it pull it down if you want it to be longer if you're a little bit taller i think this next one has to be my favorite it is this beautiful pink dress again this is flowy so i'm obsessed with that type of style but it's really the back that gives it like its moment it's this beautiful like strappy detail i'm absolutely obsessed and as you guys can see it's double lined in the chest area so you don't need to wear a bra which i love especially on vacation okay let's just pick something that's not glass how about that do you want mommy's lotion no okay okay oh perfect i'm so glad you changed your mind Ooh, i love this dress too oh my goodness they're all so comfortable they all look really good okay and there goes my lotion so this is the dress it is so cute it's a brown color and it kind of dangles in the front and goes down between your chest and then it has slits that go up the side the slits are pretty high so this is a little bit more scandalous so i would probably only wear this like with hunter so we'll see how much use i get out of it but it is a very cute comfortable dress i also think it'd be really great as like a swimsuit cover up now this is one of my favorites that i picked up it's this gorgeous white long sleeve dress i love it because you know when you're on vacation and you go to like a nice dinner and you're typically in a more minimal dress and you're freezing well i love this because it's still really pretty and fancy but it's long sleeve so it keeps me just a little bit warmer so i love this i think it's absolutely gorgeous it's pretty modest and again it has like an adjustment on the side so you can pull it down further if you want it to be a little bit longer or hike it up if you're a little bit shorter. Those are just a few of the dresses that I decided to keep. And on average, they were all around like 25 bucks each. So I was able to get a ton of dresses for a pretty minimal amount of money. And I ended up returning like half of what I got because I just ordered a ton because I knew it would kind of be like hit or miss because it's Amazon. And the returns were like so easy. So I love that. Obviously this wasn't sponsored. If I was like sponsored by Amazon, I would literally die. But I always like to show you guys some of the good little finds that I get. So she, are you playing in the top? She loves to play in the back. <laughs> Look who's home. It's my best little friend. Hi, Mama. He was so excited to see Mommy when he got off the bus. It made my heart just like melt. And Blakely booked it outside. She was so excited. Dada? Mama. No, I'm just kidding. I'm so proud of you. Can you guys believe how much she's just saying Dada? Like all the time now. Dada, good girl. Can you say Dada? Yeah, Dada. Dada. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. Yes, Sissy, you're so smart. Becca, you so smart too. Mwah. He's like, Mama, feed me right now. Huh? You hungry? I'm so excited because tomorrow we are going to be home for Beckham to get home from the bus. We're leaving like an hour and a half after he gets home. So I'll get to say goodbye to him, which I'm really grateful for. Hello. Okay. I realized while I was editing the first portion of this video before Beckham got home from school. Hi, Chloe. That I literally rambled for like the entire video. So I was going to do a video over the course of today and tomorrow saying goodbye to the kids. However, I think I'm just gonna do like revealing our vacation details in its own separate video because this video is already getting very, very long. So while I feed Becca, we're gonna wrap up today's video by talking about something that I really, really wanna talk about that is super important, but I also want you guys to see this cute boy because we miss him. We miss him when he's not home, huh? Don't we, baby? Can I have a hike? 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 Oh, you want me to come over here? Can I have a hug? Good. Thanks, baby. I love you. <laughs> He's like, woman, I didn't say I wanted a kiss. Okay, so here's what I want to talk to you guys about. 
You know what, while we're chatting, maybe I should lower you just a little bit. I feel like this is better. Now we don't feel so strained, you know what I mean? What I wanted to talk to you guys about was whether or not I diet before I go on vacation. I know that this is a really common thing to do. A lot of women, especially, will diet or kind of prepare to, are you okay, baby? So as I was saying, a lot of women will kind of just prepare to go on a trip, especially when they know that they're going to be in more minimal clothing, like a bathing suit or something like that. I wanna to talk to you guys specifically about why I do not change any of my eating habits or any of my exercise habits before going on vacation. Number one, the first reason I don't do that is because it creates such an unhealthy mindset and a lot of anxiety leading up to a trip that should be very exciting and very fun. It also sends a message to yourself that you have to look a certain way or be worthy of wearing certain clothing, which is absolutely false. And that's something I really try and protect myself from, especially with now having a daughter, I would never want her to see her mom acting different or eating different or exercising different simply because she was going to go enjoy a vacation that should not be about your body but should be about memories and being with family and love. That is one of the reasons that Hunter and I don't change any of our habits. Another reason that we don't change our habits is because if you were to diet unhealthily and a crash diet, some would say, lower your calories, increase your cardio for a week or two leading up to vacation, all of that progress would very likely disappear within one or two days of being on your trip when you go back to eating normal, when you're not excessively exercising, basically eliminating all of the hell that you went through the last couple weeks leading up to this trip. It's also going to cause more body dysmorphia than you originally would have already had, which leads to really tainting the entire experience of the trip. It is so important that we as women and we as a society normalize normal bodies, normal eating behavior. I would never not eat something just because I knew I was going to be in a swimsuit because I'm worthy of being in that swimsuit and looking how I actually look and feeling confident and happy about that. Hunter has really, really helped me with this mindset. I feel very safe and confident inside of our marriage, but because of my background, I am really aware of a lot of the egg thoughts, which are eating disorder thoughts that can surface around events when you don't have as much control over food or as much control over your environment as you would typically like to. And it's so important to remember that you deserve to go on a trip and not have that trip be about your body. Having that trip be about your experiences and the loved ones that you're with and these cherished memories that you're gonna have. Another thing that I think is really, really important is to remember that you can document your trip without documenting your body. If you feel uncomfortable in a photo or if you know that taking a picture in a swimsuit or maybe not even in a swimsuit, just taking a picture in general, if you know that that's gonna be really triggering for you, then don't take a picture. It's okay, take pictures and videos of your surroundings and make sure that you're not in them because you know that's going to lead to an unhealthy mindset and it might cause you to spiral. That's something that Hunter and I also implement. If I don't wanna take photos or if I notice that my mood is changing because of photos, then we just don't take photos and that's perfectly fine and it keeps me in a really healthy mindset. So I know that this may not apply to everybody but I do believe it applies to a lot of people. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and just remind you that if you have an event coming up, if you have a vacation coming up you are worthy to experience that without making any changes to your body and you're worthy to experience that just as you are right now I want you to remember that you would have the exact same experiences whether you were 10 pounds lighter or 10 pounds heavier your body does so much for you punishing your body is a cycle that we have to end in society and starving your body and constantly telling your body that it's not enough, it's not good enough. It's so incredibly sad. So I really just want to challenge you to treat yourself like your own best friend and talk to yourself and have a dialogue with yourself that you would have with your daughter, with your sister, with your mom, with your best friend. Is this little guy falling asleep on me? He's like, okay, mom, I understand. Thank you for the speech. I know mommy's kind of a talker. 
Are you so sleepy? Do you want me to take a couple more bites? Oh, good boy. Good job, handsome. But I really just wanted to share that with you guys. I know we don't talk a ton about dieting or our bodies on this channel, but I do find it very important to talk about it occasionally. And I really just wanted to reinforce that positive message. And I also wanted to give you guys an excuse to look at this cute face. Hi, baby, good job. Do you guys see how incredible he's eating? I mean, it's just amazing. I'm so proud of him. He also eats phenomenal with my mom, so I feel like really good about how well he'll do while I'm gone. You look like you're really enjoying this. This is vegetable beef. Good job. Yummy. One thing that I love about Beckham's preschool is that every day when they send him home, they have a little packet that's in his backpack that they have filled out for us, just showing us what he worked on that day. And so today he did physical therapy and he did a great job and they had music time. So as you guys can tell, he gets home and he is just like wiped out. He's so ready for bed. One thing that can be unfortunate is sometimes he'll fall asleep on the bus and that kind of hinders our nap time. So he didn't fall asleep today, so I think he's gonna take a really, really good nap. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this cute little boy's face all wiped off so that he can go down for a little nap, but we'll go ahead and say goodbye to you guys first. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video, revealing all of our vacation details. I will be doing a vlog tomorrow so you guys can say goodbye to the kids with us but we hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. But we wanna remind them of Bubba. What is the most important thing that we say in every single video that applies to everybody, no matter what they're going through? Can you say, be brave like Beckham? Say, yeah, be brave like me. Of course, we want to remind you guys to be brave like our little Beckham, and we'll catch you in our next video. Bye. Can you blow a kiss? <gasps>